Hi, it is Wednesday, November 2nd, and today we're going to try Jacksepticeye's Top of the Morning Orange Blossom Oolong Tea. Now, I've never had an oolong tea before, so I'm not really sure exactly what to expect, but I'm really excited to try it. So for future Cozy Buds, I'm thinking about trying to set up like this. The window is behind me now, so I'm actually pretty nicely illuminated in the frame. Um, because I remember last time I was talking about how I couldn't put up lights where I film back here usually. And plus it's easy to just, go, to just turn and grab stuff. So here's the bag that all the tea is in. So let me just open this up. And... It comes in these little pyramid shaped tea bags, as is the usual for Top of the Morning. The uh, other tea that I tried from them did the same thing. Oh, it has a nice, sweet, citrusy smell. Oh god, you could probably get high off of that. That's, that's how nice it is. Alright, so, I'm gonna go ahead, I already have some water in a pot ready to boil because I don't have a kettle. Yes, I know. Boo me. Boo me for not having a t boo me for not having a tea kettle. What, 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 what do you want me to do? I'm going to go take a shower. I'm going to let the water boil and I'm going to tell you something about you, you know the setup of these videos by now. Gee. You know, it's a good thing these boxes come with instructions because without it I would be kind of lost in all honesty because ever since I discovered my love of tea um, or at least my love of green tea, or my fondness for it, rather. Um, I'm pretty basic. I just get Arizona green tea from the convenience store. <laughs> so I never actually make tea. But, um, directions. Place tea bag in your favorite mug. Bring water to a boil and pour over your tea bag. See for a good three to five minutes, remove tea bag, and enjoy your leaf soup. What I'm expecting, as a flavor profile, is fruity jasmine with a splash of toastiness to create a sensational oolong tea. Okay, so last Cozy Bud was about a month ago, um, at the beginning of October, and I think the only thing that's really happened between then and now is that I watched Halloween Ends, and I didn't want to make this a full video because I felt like it wasn't really worth it, um, but I didn't hate Halloween Ends as much as everyone else did, or... I didn't even really dislike it that much. It definitely had a lot of fucking weirdness to it. By the way, if you haven't seen Halloween Ends, just skip to the part where I'm trying the tea. I'm gonna put the time, the timestamp up right here. So just go there and you won't hear any of the Halloween Ends spoilers. What I did like about it is that it went in a more Halloween 3 season of the witch direction in which the, in which I mean, there wasn't a lot of Michael Myers. And if you don't know anything about Halloween 3 Season of the Witch, it's, it has no Michael, My My Michael Myers in it. Because John Carpenter's original vision for the Halloween franchise was that every movie was going to be different. It was going to be an anthology series. But Michael Myers became this huge pop culture icon. So they pumped out Halloween 2 like right after the first Halloween movie. And then with three, he was like, you know what, let's try this thing that I had in mind. And, you know, people back then were like, this is bullshit, there's no Michael Myers. And now it has more of like a cult appreciation nowadays. And I felt that this movie kind of went in that direction a little bit. Um, I do like the new character, Corey. I thought he was really well written and like well thought out. It's a little weird that it becomes kind of like a buddy cop movie with Michael though <laughs> that was the bit of weirdness that I thought was uh, I don't know I don't know how I feel about that I do like the more like mystical stuff with Michael Myers I do like this th like this idea that he is just pure evil and when he looked into Corey's eyes he could sense the same darkness that was within himself in this young younger man um i thought the romance between corey and the main character i can't even remember her name um was incredibly rushed and incredibly weird like there was a lot of things corey would say that was like immediate red flags and she was like 
I'm just so turned on by that. And I didn't really get it. The final fight between uh, Laurie Strode and Michael Myers was really damn good. I thought it was excellent. I thought it was a little goofy how the entire town was like, hmm, the only way to make sure he's actually dead is to eviscerate his body. Let's take him to an industrial shredder, which just so happens to be at Corey's old workplace. It was, like I said, there's some weirdness with the movie. I thought it was fine. Uh, a bunch of people apparently did not. There's even, you people, okay. I know, we did it with the Sonic movie. We got them to redesign Sonic. But we, at some point we just have to let art speak for itself. We can't keep creating petitions for movie studios to redo a whole fucking movie, okay? There's a petition online to get them to reshoot Halloween Ends and make it, make the ending better or make the movie better or whatever. It's like, no, fucking quit it. Stop being a whiny little baby back bitch and just deal with the movie as it is. All right? Hell, even John Carpenter thought it was all right. Like, come on, grow up. <laughs> oh, and before anyone comes at me, uh, hi. Michael Myers is my favorite slasher and Halloween is my favorite horror movie, so fuck off. Three to five minutes later. Okay, so it's actually been more like eight minutes since I put the bag in. It did turn turn the liquid to a nice like goldeny brownish color. You can see the it's still steaming. But yeah, if you look, I don't know how well you can see. Eh. So I'm gonna try this without anything added to it, uh, without any sugar or whatever. You guys know me. I really only put sugar in my tea. I don't have honey. <laughs> okay. So okay. Before before I take a sip, I want to I want to ask a very simple question. Who actually just has honey in their cupboard? I don't think once in my entire 27 year life I've ever had honey in just ready to go in my pantry on the off chance that I one day made tea or wanted to use honey for anything else. What? I, I, I could get it. I, I mean, obviously, if, like, if you're in a place that drinks tea regularly, like Canada, England, anywhere in the UK, really, you would have to have honey on hand. But in the United States, who do you know that actually just has honey lying around? Because I know nobody <laughs> that has honey. Or maybe I do and they just won't tell me. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and give this a bit of a sip. It's very floral. That is very floral. That just tastes like I'm eating a flower. And it's not bad. What was in here again? What's the flavor note it's supposed to be? Fruity jasmine with a splash of toastiness. Not really getting the toastiness, but all right, there's black tea, green tea, oolong tea, and jasmine petals as the ingredients. I was expecting a more citric taste, considering it's called orange blossom. I was expecting something a bit more citrusy, so I'm going to see if that changes after adding sugar. Just had a cool idea for a collab video. Maybe one of my friends can teach me how to properly make tea. I know I can just look it up on the internet, but I don't want to. Alright, sugar should be stirred in there well enough, so... That really brought forth the fruity flavor. It really did. I put three teaspoons to, this is a tablespoon, right? Am I right? I don't know measurements. But I put three spoonfuls of sugar in it. Oh, and that's very pleasant. One thing that I noticed though, this is a very dry tea. Or maybe it's just because I've been talking since I woke up and that dries out my mouth. But this leaves a very dry feeling in my mouth. Which isn't bad. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. Just noting that that's what I'm getting from it. Your mileage may vary. After adding sugar to that, it's like a lighter flavored coffee, kind of. That's awesome. I'm actually really hype on that. I'm gonna rec go ahead and recommend this if you like tea. You can't go wrong with orange blossom oolong from Top of the Morning. 
We have one more tea in the top of the morning line, and that's a black tea. Historically, not my favorite tea. I'm a more of a green tea kind of guy. But I'm going to get it, I'm going to try it, and I'm going to tell you how I feel about it. So, thank you guys so very much for watching the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this one, please consider subscribing. And until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.